Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Meetings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. See what message comes through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Divine Masculine wants to make a dream into a reality. They're in love with Divine Feminine. They want to transform their life. They want to transform the situation. They feel like they haven't been doing much. They they know that they haven't been doing much. This Divine Masculine is aware that they didn't put 100%. They didn't show their love to Divine Feminine. They didn't express their feelings to you. So they're thinking about all these things. This Divine Masculine is thinking about how much you express your love. You open your heart to Divine Masculine here. Uh, that you wanted to start a new beginning. You want to start a new life with them. Some of you did start a new beginning. Meaning that maybe you two did get married. Something like that. I do see here that there was a beginning of a dream come true. There was some sort of a beginning that took place. But then it's like it was not fulfilled. It's not full it's not fully it's something about not fulfillment it's not fulfilled um it came as a sh shock to divine feminine because some of you when you got really close to divine masculine you thought that this is it this is our life together this is our new beginning you be, you had a very strong connection with divine masculine you became very close to divine masculine here i see um, there were a lot of people involved, family members, loved ones. Um, it became official in some cases, meaning that you guys may have officially um, gotten engaged or you may have told other family members or friends that you two are a couple or, or something like that. Uh, but there was a lot of things that you were not aware of. Uh, I see here that things that you were not aware of, uh, it led to some sort of confusion. You didn't know which direction this relationship was going you found it very difficult because in some cases you felt like you were there you're committed to this relationship to this person and then at the same time you felt like like there is some kind of there's something about some of you may have thought about if this is not working out, I should just go. That's, I'm just going to be honest here because that's what I see here. It's not going to resonate for all. But when you were in that com uh, commitment with Divine Masculine, some of you had this thought that if this is not working out between us, something is off, maybe I should just go. Maybe I should leave the connection. But then you felt like it's difficult. It's not just easy for me to just get up and go. So I see here that this crossed your mind a number of times. Some cases there was a number of attempts for you to wanting to leave the relationship because you felt like Divine Masculine was not giving enough to the connection because here you are giving a lot of love, showing that you are committed to the relationship, opening your heart out to Divine Masculine, expressing yourself to Divine Masculine. And I feel like this masculine may have given bits and pieces to you to make it's like enough to to keep you there and then I see here that this divine feminine felt this need to maybe I need to let this go because divine masculine is not giving as much as as I thought they would give so you were questioning the relationship questioning divine masculine's feelings here and some cases you may have tried a few times to let divine masculine go meaning like walk away from the relationship or there were some some numerous like there were thoughts about leaving the connection but then you felt like it's it's not easy for me to just get up and go but eventually some of you did it was divine feminine who 
walked away. Some cases it was Divine Feminine who walked away because I see here it came to a point where you felt like the relationship or the connection with Divine Masculine was not making you stronger. It was making you feel some sort of weakness. It's like if this person is loves me if i love this divine masculine why don't i feel stronger i should be able to feel like i'm going to you know be able to take on anything this person should be make this person should make me feel some sort of strength or courage or motivation or something but i feel like you you felt like something about you were feeling less it's like something's missing here i don't feel strong i don't feel um, confident it's like where is my counterpart it's like you two may have been in that relationship but divine masculine was not giving you that that energy that you so i feel like that you were wanting that you were hoping that you would get from this divine masculine the connection and i see here that it was just making you feel tired i see something about over, um overwhelmed uh heaviness uh, weakness here I see here that your energy was quite low um, what well, should have made you happy you were feeling doubts and, and a little bit sadness it's like feeling as if you're single in a relationship feeling alone in a relationship it's like I'm giving it all to divine masculine but why am I not getting the same in return so this divine masculine here there is this awareness that they didn't give as much as they could have to the connection. They are aware of that. There's something about, so going back to the beginning of the reading, there's something about wanting to change a dream into, into a reality. This Divine Masculine wants to transform the relationship, the connection with you. They want a new beginning. I see here that when it comes to what they want, they desire their, their dream, they were confused with a dream that had to do with a karmic situation or a cycle. I see here that love, okay, so there's love here, and then I see a dream here. So their Divine Masculine's init initial dream, so the dream that they really wanted, their heart's desire was to have this new life, this new beginning, this this wish fulfillment of a loving, a loving relationship, a loving home, a loving partner, right? And there's something about getting distracted by a karmic situation and believing that that was their dream. But the love, the love that they wanted still remains. It's like first they had this dream, this ultimate dream, this desire that's connected to that love. But then they got distracted by something else which they thought was their dream. So it's like they had this, these two thoughts about like, let's say dream number one. Okay, so dream number one is connected to love. Dream number one is their, their wish fulfillment, their heart's desire that's connected to love. And then dream number two is this this distraction, something that looks like a dream come true, an illusion that is not connected to love. This Divine Masculine replaced their initial dream, their heart's desire, what they really wanted with this new new thought, this new idea that seemed, seemed good at the time. I see here that that dream actually took them on a karmic cycle. Some cases it was connected to the material, so they got um, distracted by material, material things. So this could be like the lifestyle, the um, the status, the the uh, image, you know how they look to others, popularity, that kind of thing. So vanity as well. There's something about appearance, a lot having to do with appearance. This was the dream number two. It started off as like, I feel like out of, um, I feel like Divine Masculine didn't really know what they were getting themselves into. It started off as something as like, a, and it feels like something of like innocent kind of 
the action may not be innocent, but the idea of it, like the thought of it's like, oh, that looks good. You know, like I'll have an exciting life. Like that looks like a very um, fun life or it looks like a fancy life, you know, like um, the way of living felt different or the image of that lifestyle felt different. This divine masculine, it feels like naive feels like this divine masculine was naive to what they were getting into with this dream number two this thing that was illusion that created this dream for divine masculine so this is the reading for today i hope you like this reading if you like this reading please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and thank you all for watching have a beautiful day everyone bye